Hi everyone, welcome to Learning Curve Acres. I wanted to show you what we finally got finished last on the weekend. This we are affectionately calling Quackingham Palace. So yes, as the name implies, this is where the ducks live. We've made a door using 2x4s and 2x2s. Uh, and of course our good sturdy hardwire cloth. But let's go in and take a look. Now everything that we used, with the exception of this bungee cord, we actually have on the property. So there's our three little call ducks, Daisy, Maisie, and Daffy. Yes, hi guys. And there's the inside of the door. So to keep the door closed, we're just using this bungee cord. Goes through there, goes through these. These are wires from a fridge or something. I don't know. We found them at the reuse center a while ago. We thought, oh, they'll come in handy for something. They could even, they look like they could even be from like a dishwasher or something. But anyways, they work great so that the ducks can come up, the chickens can come up on the other side, and they can have a little chat. We've got some mint, still growing nuts. Their pond and ramp. And they do get a little bit of direct sun there. But we'll, we're going to improve some things in a little bit. So what we did was we had one of those old um, carports here when we first moved here. And it had blown over in a storm and ended up in the neighbor's field the first spring we were here. So we put, packed it all up, put it away, figured we'd use it for something else. So the the main frame that goes up and over and across are four pieces from that. Then at the reuse center, someone had a gazebo. So we took all those pieces apart and we attached them to the top for stability. Now, yes, we didn't go through and cut all the zip ties off and we just used zip ties because we were racing the rain as which seems to be the um the basic theme for this fall i had we did we did this a week ago and i had to wait for a nice sunny day to be able to bring my tablet out so i could show you so we've got that we have the plastic deer fencing that goes up and over now, yes, before people start making comments, I realize that during the day, some predators could come in and get at these, but they're going, those same predators are going to go after the chickens first. And the chickens make such a noise that it, between myself and the dog, I'm not really that concerned. So up here, one thing we did was where the tarp was leaning against the edge of the gazebo pieces, we just took an old blanket. And again, this blanket came from the reuse center. So, you know, this is its second or third or fourth life that it's had, you know, nothing is, nothing was actually gone out and purchased. We placed, we attached it to the top of the, uh, chicken coop here with some one by four strapping and then down here along the skids sorry duckies oh they love to scold but we have some we have some chicken wire this the skids themselves will keep any large predators uh, from coming in this is more to keep them from trying to get out Hey, duckies. Yeah. And then over here we have their 
gorgeous duck house, which was made by a local uh, craftswoman by the name of Judy. She is amazing. And this she made with leftover scraps. So we have this great big venting window and an identical one on the far side. This roof oops, lifts. And we have, she even gave us pieces to use as supports for when we've got it wide open and we're cleaning. Let me just, oh, latch that. She put small vent holes, smaller vent holes in the front and along the sides, which are covered with, with wire. I don't know if you can see what kind of wire that is. It's just like, almost looks like a honeycomb or something. And then we have the lift door for them. And then we have a large front door for me to get in and clean it. So again, over here we have some hardware cloth along the edge. And we have here, you'll see there's just this piece of plastic corrugated cardboard with the aluminum. The reason for that is eventually on the outside, we're going to turn this, this area here uh, from where the wood is over into their summer yard. So we're going to enclose that as well. That's where they're going to have a big pond and there won't be a tarp or anything over that part of the part of the duck enclosure. It'll just, that'll be where they can send themselves and everything. But on the other side of this, there is a pallet with stacked wood. So not much is going to get in. I'm not too worried about this, this here being open because at night these guys are locked up tight and secure in here and nothing can get in there. So that's our Quackingham Palace. I think it looks pretty darn good. I think it needs a chandelier or a light fixture of some sort, especially when it's super dark on the rainy days. But so far it's worked out well. Now I do want to show you just one other little thing that's been going on here. So this is our other development. Two weeks ago, actually almost three weeks ago now, Dolly here had seven babies. Here's the first one I've seen out of the nest. Hi love. Hi. They're so cute. And there's the rest of the siblings. Let's see if they'll let me. It's a little dark in here to really see them. But there's six in here. And then there's number seven. So this good girl had seven beautiful babies. And they've all been doing really, really well. As I said, this is the first time I've seen them out of the nest, any of them, so that's kind of exciting too. Now, we were hoping, we tried breeding her again. This is the fourth time we've bred her, or attempted to. We thought she was actually pregnant because she built a beautiful nest, but absolutely nothing has happened. She's three days past her due date. Now, I know they can go quite a bit further, but absolutely nothing. So, Miss Clementine, what's going on? Anyways, that's it for us here at Learning Curve Acres right now. I just thought I'd give you an update on some of the animals. And I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. And take care and stay safe.